Have you ever stopped to think how similar you are to a plant or a flower? Now that may sound a funny question, but plants, just like people, are living things, and in many ways all living things are alike. The trouble is, when you think about plants doing the things that living things are meant to do, it all seems a bit odd. Like plants having babies, or eating, or even moving. I mean, they look pretty rooted to me. So when we say that plants are living things, what exactly do we mean? To find out, I'm visiting one of the greatest collections of plants in the world, all gathered in the palm house at Kew Gardens. The palm house is like a massive greenhouse. It's bathed in sunlight, and it's just full of exotic plants, all growing close together. Actually, the fact that plants grow is pretty important, because if something grows, then that's one of the signs that you're dealing with a living thing. And for things that grow, well, you can't do better than these. Tropical bamboos. They're really tough. So tough that in some parts of the world they use them to build with. But what's really amazing about these bamboos is how fast they can grow. Sometimes as much as a metre every single day. The next thing I wanted to find out was how a plant moves. Because moving, like growing, is something done by all living things. And it didn't take long to find what I was looking for. This plant moves by closing its leaves when you touch it. In fact, though plants are rooted to the ground, they're moving all the time. It just takes a special camera to see it. All right, so that's growing and moving. Next on my list, reproduction. In other words, the way that living things have babies or young of some kind. Come and take a look at this. This is a cocoa plant. And can you see that kind of orangey pod hanging off the trunk? Well, it's packed full with seeds. And when it splits open, new cocoa plants will be created. And you can see on the trunk here, these tiny little white bits. Well, these are new seed pods just springing into life. Actually, as far as I'm concerned, the more cocoa plants there are in the world, the better. Because cocoa is what chocolate's made from. How do plants eat? Plants don't eat like we do. For them to grow, they need water, air, and sunlight to make their own food. <laughs> Filmed with a special camera, this seed is just starting to grow. First, the root pushes down into the soil, and then the shoot grows up towards the light. This runner bean plant has a very long stem. It grows leaves and flowers. The petals then wither and bean pods grow. The pods contain the seeds, which may make new plants, unless we eat them. Plants give us lots of things. The wicker these baskets are made from, as well as the wheat to make bread. Cooking oil is pressed from nuts and seeds. And the wood for these boxes comes from trees, as do the oranges. And the rubber for these gloves comes from trees too. And do you know all the things that can be done with the coconuts? Well, there are all these fibres on the outside that can be woven into things like mats. And inside there is this sweet drink called coconut milk, which is full of nutrients. And around that, there's a thick white flesh, which tastes very nice, and sometimes it's dried and used in cakes and things. This is Jamaica, a great place to grow bananas. There are bananas here of all sorts of different sizes. It's not like Britain, where fruit only ripens once a year, and that means people can pick bananas here all year round, even in winter. How big is this plantation, Anne? 
This farm is very, very, very big. More than half the people in the town work here. Now you're swinging a very large knife my way. Why? This, this is a machete. It's very, very handy on a banana plantation. Here, have it. Why do I need this? You'll see. The first thing Anne showed me was a big purple flower. Inside, the tiny bananas were already growing. Every day, the petal comes up and the tiny bananas, you can see the tiny bananas underneath. All the bananas, when they grow close together like this, it's called a hand. And I bet they are called fingers, yeah? Yes, all the fingers together, just like your own hand, make up a hand. And every day, as they grow, they turn all the way up and straighten out and come up like that. We put the plastic bags on to prevent insects and birds from scratching the bananas. And also it makes it nice and warm inside for the bananas to grow in. Okay. Inside their plastic coats, the small green bananas grow and thicken. And then when they're big enough, it's the bit I like best. Time for the bananas to be picked. It's a beautiful bunch of green bananas. come and me want go home. William, I great grand banana. Nice to come and me want go home. Nine and ten and lemon and bunch. Nice to come and me want go home. You want to try cutting down the whole tree now with that machete that you've been walking uh -huh. around with all day? Okay. What do I do? Just stand over there and swing. <laughs> stand back, Anne. Stand back. <laughs> ah, there it goes. It might seem strange chopping a banana tree down, but under every tree there were baby shoots growing. And the idea is, you cut down the fully grown tree to give the next banana plant a chance to grow and bear fruit.